हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम बैक टू एट अनदर वीडियो ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजिक मैनेजमेंट एंड टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बी स्टडिंग स्टडी नोट 10.2 दैट इज स्ट्रक्चरिंग ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ स्ट्रेटजी व्हिच इंक्लूड्स मैकेंसी 7s फ्रेमवर्क एंड आल्सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द ट्रिक हाउ टू लर्न दिस 7s फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ मैकेंसी दैट इज गिवन बाय मैकेंसी सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स बिगिन Also, if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, then do subscribe and hit the bell icon as well. Also, share this video with your friends so that they can also take the benefit of these lectures. So, let's start. As you can see on the screen, first of all, we have study note 10.2 that is structuring of organization for implementation of strategy. Strategic implementation. What does it mean? Implementation of strategies is concerned with the design and management of systems. to achieve the best integration of people structures processes and resources in reaching organizational purposes strategic implementation ka matlab kya hai it is concerned with the design and management of system what would be the design and what would be the management of system it is concerned with that thing to achieve the best integration of people structure process and resources jitne bhi sari hamari cheeze hain in uh, in an organization like people structures processes and resources उन सबका इंटीग्रेशन मीन सबको इकट्ठा कर लेना इंटीग्रेट रहना एक दूसरे से लिंक्ड रहना इन रीचिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पर्पसेस सो दैट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैन रिचीव सॉरी कैन रीच टू देयर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पर्पस एंड कैन अचीव व्हाट इज देयर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पर्पस राइट सो स्ट्रेटेजिक इंप्लीमेंटेशन इज कंसर्न विद द डिजाइन एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ सिस्टम्स टू अचीव द बेस्ट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ पीपल स्ट्रक्चर्स प्रोसेस एंड रिसोर्सेज इन रीचिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पर्पसेस Now let's start with McKinsey's 7S framework. Strategy is dependent on many variables, internal as well as external. Strategy, uh, when organization is consider uh, organization consider a strategy, then they include two variables, which is internal and external. Uh, for example, if we take an example of this, like if an organization wants to decide something, uh, then they will consider internal factors that is how their organizational structure is, how their employees are, how uh, how efficient their staff is and external means the government policies uh, and unforeseen circumstances like earthquake so both the things are considered when strategy is formed internal as well external all factors are interrelated all factors are interrelated to each other right now there are 7s first is first is strategy then structure then systems then shared values style staff and skills these are the 7s you know how you can learn this 7s just imagine your in your mind that you are uh, forming a company forming a organization you are building it so for what will you decide first of all aap decide karenge what should be a strategy right now when you will make a strategy you will decide the structure of the organization right now after structure you will see in the structure how should be the system that will provide values and style to the organization and if you will provide uh, the values and style in an organization then what it will uh, what it will do it will motivate the staff and their skills will be improved ab isko hindi mein dekh lete hain aapko ek organization form karni hai right तो आप ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर्म करने के लिए आप सबसे पहले क्या करोगे स्ट्रेटेजी बनाओगे स्ट्रेटेजी में देखोगे आपको स्ट्रक्चर कैसा होना चाहिए स्ट्रक्चर को आप इस तरह से डिजाइन करोगे स्ट्रक्चर में आप ऐसा सिस्टम लाओगे जिससे कि उसका जो वैल्यूज है और जो उसका स्टाइल है वो अच्छा दिखाई दे ठीक है सिस्टम में जो वैल्यूज है और स्टाइल वो अच्छा दिखाई दे आप अच्छी वैल्यूज और स्टाइल प्रोवाइड कर पाए अच्छी वैल्यूज और स्टाइल प्रोवाइड करने की वजह से क्या होगा स्टाफ स्टाफ मोटिवेट होगा एंड स्टाफ मोटिवेट होगा तो उनकी स्किल्स इंप्रूव हो जाएंगी राइट आई होप दिस ट्रिक विल हेल्प यू इन लर्निंग ठीक है एक एग्जाम्पल ले लिया है हमने आई विल रिपीट दिस एग्जाम्पल सो इससे क्या होगा इट विल हेल्प यू इन रिटेनिंग दिस एग्जाम्पल सो वट वॉज एग्जाम्पल आप ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिल्ड कर रहे हैं सबसे पहले क्या करेंगे स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर्म करेंगे आप स्ट्रेटेजी में देखेंगे कि आप स्ट्रक्चर कैसा रखेंगे स्ट्रक्चर में आप ऐसा सिस्टम लाएंगे जिससे कि वैल्यूज प्रोवाइड हो और एक उसका स्टाइल बन पाए ठीक है वैल्यूज ला पाए और स्टाइल ला पाए तो वैल्यूज और स्टाइल लाने की वजह से क्या होगा स्टाफ इंप्रूव होगा और स्टाफ इंप्रूव होगा तो उसकी स्किल्स इंप्रूव हो जाएंगी ठीक है दिस वॉज द एग्जाम्पल 
now coming back here about mckinsey 7s framework the model was developed in the late 1970s by tom peters and robert waterman in do bando ne these two people tom peters and robert waterman have formed this mckinsey 7s framework in late 1970s ye to aapko yaad hi karna padega former consultants at mckinsey and company it was a company mckinsey and company they were the former consultants there the they identified seven internal elements of an organization that need to align for it to be successful they identified seven internal elements of an organization that need to be aligned seven elements unhone uh, identify kiye which are needed in an organization to be successful so we have already discussed this seven uh, elements we will discuss in detail now a strategy is usually successful when the other s in the 7s framework fit into or support the strategy right the model categories the seven elements as either hard or soft hard elements and soft elements ko isme alag alag divide kiya gaya hai this this is not so much important but if you want you can learn it right you can see uh, what are the hard elements and what are the soft elements let's look at each of the elements individually now once again we are uh, forming organization so first of all we will decide a strategy this is our organization plan for building and maintaining a competitive advantage over its com- competitors theek hai for example the basic 7s yaad karne ke liye but uh, the content in uh, in this heads is different so we will see this is your organization plan strategy mein aap plan banayenge basically for building and maintaining a competitive advantage jisse ki uh, you can take an advantage uh, over your competitors right then you will decide the structure structure means this how your company is organized that is how departments and teams are structured including who reports to whom like when you will uh, go into any mncs or in any organization you will see that there is some criteria right uh, how i can explain to you when you go uh, you started working in an mnc so your position will be analyst just example your position will be analyst then uh, at your upper level uh, person is working at a post of at a position of senior analyst then uh, at another upper level your senior uh, analyst se upar wala level hota hai Uh, they are working at team leader. Then above team leader there is assistant manager. Then above assistant manager there is manager. Then above manager it is director of the company. So this is a structure, proper structure that who will report to whom, so that uh, it will help in saving time and making the task more smooth. Right. So this is what structure meant here. Now systems, the daily activities and procedures that staff use to get the job done. system means the daily activities that staff used to get the job done means uh, suppose you are working in an accounting profile and what you need to do what is your work basically daily activities and procedures you will be uh, posting journal entries and all that etc etc so that is covered in the system that how you will post and all that stuff right shared values these are the core values of the organization as shown in its corporate culture and general work ethic they are called superordinate goals when the model was first developed shared values uh, how i can explain it uh, is as like the culture of the uh, organization right it cannot be explained it can be felt only but uh, i would say you can consider the shift timings and how how the people are uh, communicating with their team members and all that stuff you can include work ethics means basically work ethics means only this like time shift and leaves and all that stuff so these are the shared values coming to style the style of leadership adopted uh like how your manager deals with you when you uh when you commit a commit a error or anything else right staff the employees and their general capabilities we are the employees and our general capabilities skills the actual skills and competencies of the organization employees what skills and competencies we do have right so you can uh, it is basic uh, thing but most important is that you should learn this 7s names and you can write uh, you can write real, something related to each of these points under this head but it is very important to learn this heads properly and in the sequence so with that example you can easily learn placing shared values in the center of the model emphasizes that these values are central to the development of all other critical elements so what it is saying it is saying that see first first three we have strategy structure system 
Then last three we have style, staff and skills. And in between we have shared values. So it is saying that placing shared values in the center of the model emphasizes that these values are central to the development of all other critical elements. Kya bol rahe ki we have put shared element values in the between, in between, in between of the uh, McKinsey 7S framework. So what it will do, it it is central to the development of all other critical elements. It will automatically help in the development of all the other six elements. Right. So this was McKinsey's 7S framework. Now we have few more topics here, which I will complete in this video itself. McKinsey's 7S framework is over. We have organizational structure. What is organizational structure and what types of organizational structure we do have in our slavers. The successful implementation of strategy requires an effective organizational structure. Of course, if you strategy to implement karna hai, successfully implement karna hai, then it that organization requires an effective organizational structure. Suppose agar aisa ho, when you are going in a job and there is no structure, like there is no analyst, no senior analyst, no assistant manager, and all are working under the same leader, then it is it will be very hectic to report to a one individual. Everyone can report to that individual, but an individual cannot cannot remember all the things so there is a criteria there is a structure proper structure that who will report to whom for the proper functioning of the work right organizational structure means the framework in which the organization defines how tasks are divided resources are deployed and departments are coordinated yes departments have been formed in the organization without that working in a corporate is not possible there are several types of organizational structure functional structure geographic structure matrix structure and hybrid structure four types of structure are there so we will study one by one all the structures functional structure functional structure is characterized by the simultaneous combination of similar activities and the separation of dissimilar activities on the basis of their function Kya hai? This, uh, similar activities are considered one and dissimilar activities are separated on the basis of their function. The functional organization form is one of the most common organizational structure found in firms pursuing strategy of concentration or very high relatedness. Where it is found? In the firms which are pursuing strategy of concentration or very high relatedness means where the uh, activities are related to each other, where the probability of related work is more than the other forms. A functional structure is most appropriate when the organization is small to medium size and relatively stable. When it is appropriate, when the organization is small to medium size and relatively stable. Ki stable hai or small or medium size ki hai. Right. Hindi mein ek bol deta hu. Simultaneous combination of similar activities means the similar activities are uske simultaneous combination bana liya theek hai aur jo dissimilar activities hain jo ek dusre se link nahi hai usko separate kar diya unke function ke basis pe right aur uh, firms pursuing strategy kahan pe most common hai ye jahan pe bahut zyada relatedness hai ek dusre ke function ko leke theek hai small or medium size uh, organizations mein and jo stable organization hai wahan pe functional structure use hota hai now coming to the next we have geographic structure Another basic form structural grouping is geographic structure in which activities and personnel are grouped by specific geographic locations. Groups have been formed in geographic structure with specific geographic locations. Each geographic unit includes all functions required to produce and market products in that region. Suppose uh, in geographic structure, I will take an example. Suppose you take Delhi and Gurgaon and Noida. So it, it is covered in Delhi and CR. So these are the specific geographic locations and all the functions required to produce and market products in that region. So we can form a geographic unit around it, right? This was the geographic structure. What is matrix structure? Another way to achieve focus on multiple outcomes is with the matrix structure. The matrix structure creates a dual chain of command, two lines of budget authority and two sources of performance and reward. The key feature of the matrix is that product or business and functional lines of authority are overlaid to form a matrix or grid between the product manager and the functional manager. So what happens 
matrix creates a dual chain of command means two different types of manager or i would say that two different types of activities like first the product is made and then we have to sell it or do other activities for that product so that requires dual chain of command if we link both together then it is a dual chain of command which is uh, done with the help of matrix structure or you can say two lines of budget authority and two sources of performance and reward those are okay the key feature of the matrix is that product and, or business and functional lines of authority product or functional lines of ek sath linked ho jati hain so it forms a matrix structure are overlaid to form a matrix or grid between the product manager and the functional manager right i hope this is clear to you hybrid organization and supplemental methods a single type of structural design is not always sufficient to meet the requirements of the strategy in an organization you need all the structure one structure cannot uh, or is not sufficient to meet the requirements of the strategy hybrid structure is a form of departmentalization that adopts part of both functional and divisional structures at the same level of management the major potential advantage of the hybrid structure is that the combination may allow the firm to gain the advantages offered by the primary structure while at least diminishing the impact of the disadvantages hybrid what what do you understand by hybrid hybrid is specifically uh, mean mix right so it makes both functional and divisional structure at same level of management and what how it helps the organization it helps the firm to gain the advantages offered by the primary structure we gain the advantages which primary structure have to offer and at least least diminishing the impact of the disadvantages means jo disadvantages hain uska impact bahut hi kam hoga if we form hybrid structure right and we can easily gain the advantages offered by the primary structure now organizational structure and strategy implementation the choice of structure appears contingent on the strategy of the firm uh, structure depends on the strategy of the firm if uh, like we cannot make a structure without a strategy as we have studied in mckinsey uh, uh, 7s framework no single structure is appropriate for implementing strategy एक सिंगल स्ट्रक्चर से हम स्ट्रेटजी को इंप्लीमेंट नहीं कर सकते द प्रिंसिपल टास्क ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू चूज अटेबल स्ट्रक्चर सो दैट द वेरियस एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फिट टुगेदर एंड मेक लॉजिकल सेंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का प्रिंसिपल टास्क यही होता है कि एक सुटेबल स्ट्रक्चर वो लाए जिससे कि जो वेरियस एलिमेंट्स होते हैं ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के वो एक साथ टुगेदर फिट हो सके और एक लॉजिकल सेंस वहां से बन सके टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजिक कंट्रोल सिस्टम वी हैव सम टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजिक कंट्रोल सिस्टम हेयर and i think this is the last topic of strategy note 10.2 yes in the next topic we will study strategy note 10.3 so types of strategic control system personal control it is the desire to shape and influence the behavior of a person in a face to face interaction in order to achieve the organization goals simple hai personal control se aap kya samajhte ho when we are talking face to face right now we are talking virtually but if you are in front of me and i am talking to face to face we are doing a face to face interaction and i am influencing you to do something so that i can achieve my organization goals right so it is the desire to shape and influence the behavior of a person in a face to face interaction in order to achieve the organization goals right direct supervision is the most common form of personal control as it helps in identifying the problems faced by subordinates and better man management suppose i am a manager and i am uh, i have some employees under me who are working under me so i am uh, i am supervising them directly whatever errors they are doing i am suggesting them the solutions how you can improve and all that stuff so direct supervision it is the most common form of personal control it comes under personal control as it helps in identifying the problems faced by subordinates and better man management here personal control is all about possibility of learning to occur and competencies to develop se kya hoga wo seekh payenge mere se seekh payenge hai na and they will develop competencies competition ek badhega aur aapas mein jab log dekhte hain when when a team is working under a manager so the team is competing with each other in an organization that's what we call something we can call politics but let's not get let's not go so much deep into it that is personal control that's all 
output control. This system involves the estimation and forecasting of appropriate performance goals for each unit or division, department and employees and then measure the actual performance relative to these goals. Output se kya samajhte ho? Output means something uh, we uh, give the input and then we will get the output after some processing and all that stuff. So we estimate or forecast of appropriate performance goals. Like uh, in an organization, uh, when an employee is working, then then his performance, his or her performance is checked after an year. That what he worked, how he worked and all that stuff. And it is measured. We have estimated something about that employee that he will work, he or she will work at this capacity. And after an year, in when appraisal is done in an organization, they see that what the employee have actually performed. So that comparison, we can say, comes under the output control. So this system involves the estimation and forecasting of appropriate performance goals for each unit or division. Her unit or division mein hota hai, department mein hota hai, and employees, and then measure the actual performance relative to these goals. Right? It is often observed that the organization reward system is linked to performance on these goals. If an employee is achieving goals, then obviously they will uh, the employee will be getting the rewards it can therefore be concluded that the output control system also provides an incentive structure for motivating employees at all levels of organization dekho bhai i have worked in an organization theek hai wahan pe kya hai sab mein aise hota hai what is done in march i think uh, in march or march and or april beginning appraisal is done yearly you will be given some task you need to complete theek hai जो भी परफॉर्मेंस होता है उसके बेसिस पे वो कंपैरिजन होता है लास्ट ईयर से हाउ यू हैव परफॉर्म्ड एंड योर मैनेजर विल गिव यू रेटिंग सो दैट रेटिंग हेल्प्स यू इन योर अप्रेजल कि आपका इंसेंटिव कितना बढ़ेगा राइट right? आपको इंसेंटिव इंसेंटिव यू कैन से इंसेंटिव इज डिफरेंट थिंग इंसेंटिव इज सेम बोनस यू गेट बोनस एट द टाइम एंड यू ऑल्सो गेट हाइक इन योर सैलरी ठीक है तो वो अप्रेजल होता है तो वो दोनों चीज़ें कंट्रोल होती हैं तो वही किस में आता है आपका आउटपुट कंट्रोल सिस्टम में आता है ठीक है this was output control now the last is behavior control the establishment of a comprehensive system of rules and procedures to direct the actions or behavior of divisions functions and individuals is called behavior control jo rules banaye gaye hain procedures banaye gaye hain theek hai to direct the actions or behavior of division function and individuals सबके बिहेवियर को डायरेक्ट करने के लिए दैट हाउ दे विल वर्क एंड ऑल दैट सब इज कवर्ड अंडर बिहेवियर कंट्रोल यू कैन नॉट यू कैन नॉट प्ले म्यूजिक इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वाइल यू आर वर्किंग देयर सो दिस इज लाइक अ रूल एंड प्रोसीजर राइट यू कैन नॉट प्ले यू कैन नॉट प्ले द म्यूजिक लाउड एंड यू कैन नॉट इवन प्ले द म्यूजिक ऑन द फ्लोर वेन यू आर वर्किंग ओवर देयर इन एन एम एन सी सो दिस इज द रूल एंड इट इज कॉल्ड बिहेवियर कंट्रोल द मेन पर्पज ऑफ हैविंग बिहेवियर कंट्रोल इज नॉट टू स्पेसिफाई गोल्स बट टू स्टैंडर्डाइज द वे ऑफ रीचिंग दैम सपोज you there is loud music uh, while you are working in an organization and no if your manager wants to approach you wants to ask you something then you will not be able to hear them, hear the your manager right so this is a very essential behavior control in an organization so that smooth functioning of work can be done and that's all the main purpose of having behavior control is not to specify goals but to standardize the way of reaching them स्टैंडर्ड वे ऑफ रीचिंग दैम मीन स्टैंडर्ड वे ऑफ रीचिंग गोल्स ठीक है यहाँ पे ये मतलब था इसका सो आई थिंक वी आर डन विद श्रेनो टेन पॉइंट टू एंड इन द नेक्स्ट टू वीडियोज वी विल डिस्कस अब श्रेनो टेन पॉइंट थ्री दैट इज स्ट्रेटेजिक बिजनेस यूनिट एस बी यू स्ट्रक्चर एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी वट वी हैव लेफ्ट श्रेनो टेन पॉइंट फोर बिजनेस प्रोसेस री इंजीनियरिंग दैट्स ऑल yes only uh, two study notes are left after this and we will be completing in the next two videos if you like my content if you like how i explain the things then do not forget to share this video with your friends also subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon jo main bar bar bolta hu but aap fir bhi nahi karte so is bar kar dena and that's all see you all in the next video